entrance to the dungeon is a moss-covered door. You manage to open it, only to find yourself face-to-face -face with a hideous, foul-smelling, moss-covered ogre. What do you do? I say, hey, Ma, what's for dinner? <laughs> 17. The ogre is amused by your joke and allows you to pass. <laughs> Goodbye, the bye. I liked it, too. <laughs> hey, how go the wedding plans, Howard? Great. Spent five hours last night at Macy's registering for gifts. And looks like I'm finally gonna have that darling little earthenware asparagus dish I've always wanted. <laughs> See, this is the good thing about having a girlfriend 9,000 miles away. I can spend my nights doing whatever I want. You mean like playing nerd games with us and then taking a suspiciously long shower? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> we enter the dungeon. You see a dragon. Really? So we're playing Dungeons and Dragons and we walk into a dungeon and see a dragon? <laughs> Isn't that a little on the nose? When you play shoots and ladders, do you complain about all the shoots and all the ladders? Are you gonna eat that whole pie? Maybe. Why not? Who do I have in my life to watch my figure for? God, did you watch Bridget Jones again? No, it's just that everybody's got someone. Uh, Sheldon's with Amy, Howard's getting married, you're dating my sister. You know, now that Howard's getting married, maybe he'll inflate one of his old girlfriends for you. <laughs> blame for my loneliness? The United States of America. Your movies and your TV shows promise streets paved with beautiful blonde women with big bazongas. Eat another pie, you'll have your own bazongas. That's cruel. You know it goes straight to my hips. Gentlemen, please focus that you're facing a fire-breathing dragon. Well, I don't know if I want to play anymore. But because you don't have a girlfriend? Well, good lord. That becomes a reason not to play Dungeons and Dragons. This game's in serious trouble. <laughs>
Come on, move it on. Wait, doesn't anyone have a, a rod of resurrection? Because if you've got one, I need it bad. <laughs> Get in here with your rod and give it to me. Okay, you need to say these things in your head before you say them out loud. Hey guys, I don't mean to interrupt your little game, but I thought you'd like to see what you're missing out on. So, <clears throat> Bernadette? print pumps and a racktastic red dress from Forever 21. <laughs> and there's Amy showing all kinds of ankle. And an outfit I'm assuming is from Forever 63. And I myself am wearing a little number that got me out of two speeding tickets and jury duty. <laughs> I know they're making a rhetorical point. I just don't know what it is. See ya, boys. We are going drinking. Uh, wait, can I come with you? My character died. Sorry, Raj. It's girls' night out. Maybe another time. Okay. Come on. How does he not hear that? <laughs>drunk and have a six-way with the blue man group are we no so there are some rules fine no husbands no boyfriends some rules thank you Vegas! the ladies are away the boys will play anything can happen it's gonna get crazy Dungeons and Dragons! i got a brand new bikini so drinks at the pool are on these sexy new tube top that says come hither and a can of pepper spray that says close enough jack i got some old underwear i'm gonna throw on stage at the garth brooks concert i'm sorry why old because last time i saw him i threw new ones and it got me nothing i've got a brand new seven piece set of polyhedral dice hello new dice smell <laughs> I've got my helm of lordly might, my boots of speed, and if things get too exciting, my inhaler of asthma. <laughs> I got my new bloodthirsty savage warrior who will lay waste to all who stand before him. And I had a sensible salad for lunch so I can eat all the pizza I want. Come on, are we gonna sit around chatting like a bunch of teenage girls or are we gonna play D&D &D like a bunch of teenage boys who are never gonna have sex with those teenage girls? <laughs> Vegas, Vegas, Vegas. The dungeon of Mavuska he go. The dungeon of Mavuska he go. The dungeon of Mavuska he go. Guess who? What are you doing back? That's an excellent question, Amy. Uh, well, <laughs> when we were going through security, I got pulled out of line for a pat down. The uh, TSA agent got a little handsy. <laughs> I may have broken her nose with my elbow. Long story short, she's on the no-fly list and we might have been followed here by a drone. I'm sorry. I feel like such an idiot. Oh, it's not so bad. You lost money, you're filled with shame, and you got groped by a stranger. I mean, that's Vegas. You nailed it. You guys enjoy your evening. I'm gonna go before I ruin anybody else's weekend. Ah, oh, that's my girl. No, 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 Amy, wait. Uh, I, I know it's not the night you had in mind, but why don't you guys stay and play with us? It'll be fun. It, fun? Yeah, okay, three weeks ago you bought crunchy peanut butter, but now you want the girls to play D&D. &D. Do you have a drug problem? <laughs> What's the big deal? Raj bailed so we could use some extra players. Well, I've just never played Dungeons and Dragons with girls before. Oh, don't worry, sweetie. No one has. <laughs> so, what do you say? I'll leave it up to the dungeon master. A satanic fungus that looks suspiciously like Al Pacino rises from the forest floor and says, you're playing D&D. You're playing D&D. This whole apartment is playing D&D. Get with that
Penny, we don't consume alcohol during Dungeons and Dragons, but it impairs our judgment. Oh, this isn't alcohol. It's a magic potion that makes me like you. <laughs> Double potion, please. Oh. Okay, here we go. You find yourselves face to face with two hulking ogres. What are you doing in our dungeon? You shall die. Okay, literal goosebumps, look. What do you do? I draw my broadsword. I ready my quarterstaff. I drink my potion. I see we attack the big one. You know what, give me the dice, I want to roll. The dungeon master's supposed to roll. Yeah, well, I'm supposed to be in Vegas throwing up on a shrimp buffet, now give it. <laughs> Fifteen or higher. Fifteen's the point. The point is fifteen. Give the little lady some room. Here it is, coming out. <laughs> Sixteen! Ah! Oh, please tell me we're playing for money. Oh, even better than money. You gained experience points. <laughs> More potion, please. Yeah. <laughs>